Welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. We're going to see right now the CamShift algorithm. We've seen in the previous video how the MinShift algorithm works to track an object and we found some problem with the MinShift that it didn't matter the size of the object the MinShift algorithm will, will keep always the same size of the rectangle. Also, if the object will go out of the screen and come back like from another position, the rectangle will stay always where it left because the mean shift algorithm will follow the object but if it loses the object then it cannot get it again. Come shift algorithm is going to solve this problem and let's see how it works. First thing we need an image of the object I have already saved on my computer so if you don't have it you can take a screenshot of your object and then cut the image. It will be better to do that real time, like uh, selecting with the mouse. I cannot do that right now because it will take too long the video. Mm. So let's see. We import CV2, import numpy as np. Then the image is equals to cv2 dot him read and then I have book cover dot jpg let's show this image first cv2 dot him show book and emg cv2 dot wait key zero and cv2 dot destroy all windows mm, no I have to run the proper code come shift Uh, probably not book cover, but gray cover. Okay, yeah. Here I have the image. Now I, I am going to cut this object because it's the object that I want to track this uh, book cover. Mm, I have already the specific size, so I'm going to just copy them. ROI is equals to EMG from the row 252 to the row 395 from the column 354 to the column 455 and let's show the ROI if it's correct ROI and it's correct this is the covers book now now that we know the ROI let's take the video and let's track the object in real time uh, so we have cap it's equals to c2.video capture zero to take the, the webcam then we need to create a while loop to work on each frame while true now we're going to take the frames from the webcam underscore frame is equals to cap dot read let's show the frame in real time cv 2im show frame and frame now we need to create the wait key event so we take this one and we put it inside of the loop and instead of zero which freezes the window we say just one so it will keep the loop running and also we want to detect the key that we press so the key event will be equal so it will return the key so key equals cv2 dot wait key one if the key is equals to 27 which is the s key on the keyboard we break the loop we don't need to show this one uh, remember to the release the camera cap dot release and that should be all let's run okay this is just to detect to, to take the frame from the webcam nothing more now to use the cam sheet algorithm we need first to take the histogram of the the region of interest in this case roi which is the book cover once we take this histogram okay i will tell that later let's first take the histogram so we need to convert the ROI to HSV color 
format so hsv ri is equals to cv2 dot cvt color ri we're going to convert it from bgr so cv2 dot color underscore bg bgr to hsv once we have the hsv we know that hsv format has three channels eo saturation and value for in this case we need only the first channel so we're going to take the histogram of hue so roi hist is equals to cv2.calc actually calc hist of the hsv roi channels as i said just one the first one so index zero mask we do not, we're not going to use any mask the size of the histogram is 180 because we know that hsv goes from 0 to 179 so it has 180 values and the range from 0 to 180 in this case we said 0 to 1 180 but 180 is not included mm. and we have the ROI of uh, the history of the ROI so this is all for the ROI now we need to work on the original on the frame that we're taking from the camera so again we need to convert the frame to HSV cv2 dot c cvt color frame and then cv2 color underscore vgr2 HSV once we have the HSV, we need to calculate the back projection. So what is back projection? I've made a video about back projection. If you haven't watched it, stop now and go and watch it. And I'm, in simple words, back, pro, pro, back projection is from the histogram of the ROI, we're going to find the same what has a similar histogram in the frame so it's first we take histogram of the ROI and then from that histogram we're going to work with, with the new frame with the entire frame uh, I know that I explained it really bad but who cares uh, HSV so we we get a mask uh, let's call it just mask it's equals to CV2 and now calc back projection on the HSV one channel so the first one zero the histogram we're going to use the ROI histogram and the ranges from 0 to 180 the scale it's one mm, let's show this mask see to that in show mask and mask mm. I'm not really happy to see all these white parts because it can give us some problem but anyway this is the the object that we want to track and the, the mask is special for this one uh, now using this mask we are going to apply the cam shift algorithm so red and track window track window is equals to cv2 dot cam cam shift on so the mask the window we need to say where it starts to track uh, we don't know exactly let's put just the same size is the same of the ROI uh, we need to say mm, X Y width and height mm. so on the ROI we know that the X it's equals to 354 the y is equals to 
252 the width is equals to this x so the second x minus the first so 455 minus x and uh, the height is equals to 395 minus y Uh, so x, y, width, and height, and term, term criteria. Term criteria is the configuration of the algorithm. Just copy what I am writing. Term criteria is equals to cv2 dot. Mm, okay, term criteria APS C two dot term criteria count ten and one. Now let's print the red. Red is going to give us the rectangle and the position and also the rotation and size. Sorry, here we can see uh, all these details. So what is exactly? This is X, Y, the width, the height, and also the rotation. As you know, in the cam shift algorithm, we can also ro rotate the object and the rectangle is going to rotate to follow our object. And so we have a function in OpenCV to get these points. CV2 dot box points, and we need to pass red. So with these points, we're going to draw the rectangle points. Also, there is a problem that these points you see we have 319, 349.5 for example and the pixel cannot be split it, so it, it, it's either 349 or 350 so we need to change this to integer so in this case we have the function of numpy points is equals to np.int 0 of pts and now we can draw the rectangle cv2 polylines uh, why is not rect but polylines because with, with the function rect you can only draw rectangle but you cannot apply any rotation so in this case we need to use polylines function and the points are already structured to be a rectangle by this function so you just need to pass the points so polylines on the frame pts true to close the polyline so the rectangle will be closed and the color let's make it blue so 255 of blue 0 of green and 0 of red thickness 2 and this should be all let's run all the code and let's take the object So you can see that it's working properly. Let's like rotate the object a little bit. Not doesn't follow it 100%. Let's make it bigger, smaller. As you see, it's not it's not perfect. Perfect. And also there is probably some problem with the lightning. So if I go in this really light place, it doesn't recognize the object anymore because the, the green completely changed. Not the green, the gray. It's completely different gray. So you need to ad adjust it. Remember that camshift algorithm is really sensitive to these lightning changes.
how can you improve this we you could pass some filter uh, as you see everything that it's white it's detected by the cam shift so if I move the object outside the most white part will be this uh, this one exactly so the the object tracking will go straight to that white part it goes to the biggest as you see where there is the most concentration now it's on my bird which is which has similar similar color to to this cover anyway this is all for the camp shift algorithm. Thanks for watching.